Hello and welcome to a Hampic Life YouTube channel and today we're looking at radiant circuits which are the energy system in the body that that when you have that sense of expansion of joy um, we often feel it when we've had good news or we fall in love or we see something that really touches us that's the radiant circuits in action However, we also, they also are alive in that very steady feeling of joy and contentment. So today, I'd like to have a look at how we can work with these somatically to get our bodies into habits of holding this feeling, of raising our happiness set point. My name's Leanne Campbell. I'm a life and well-being coach, and I specialize in somatic practices. And if you'd like to know more about us, the links are below. And if you'd like to understand more about why we should activate these radiant circuits and what the benefits are, then there's a link below where I go into much more detail. But today, I'd really like to get on with a practical so we can experience this. Okay. So just for the moment, we're going to just give a little shake off because one of the things that the radiant circuits love is space in your body, movement. So just for a moment, as you breathe in, just give yourself a full body yawn. Let your feet drop into damp earth. Push your palms up to the sky and feel the length of your body. Okay, and then just expand outwards. Let yourself feel bigger. Just give that a shake. And again, breathe in, do that again. Up. Because if you think about, you know, the moment we start to feel low or uneasy, the first thing your body does is shrink and contract. So just making some space, that feeling of throwing off a wet blanket and making a choice to raise your vibration. The more we do it, the easier it gets. And just do a few little bounces here. So things like bouncing, laughing, obviously, singing, moving, stretching, all ways just to help those radiant circuits get activated. So we'll just do a few more of these. Smile as you're doing it. Relax your jaw and get your intention behind this to feel happier. Okay, just come back, give yourself a little shake. Just a few swipes across just to make sure we've got an crossovers going on in the body and then from the waist down okay and then we're going to sit down because today I'd like to work with a, a beautiful method called tapping so find something to sit on the chair's fine I'm sit on my on my cushion and just Land for a moment, feel your sitting bones. And we're going to use a very simple technique called tapping. I just want you to tap just at the ends of the eyebrows, or the beginning of the eyebrows, and then the end of the eyebrows there, corner of the eyes, and then under the eyes. So just follow me for a moment, because I'm going to teach you a very short sequence and then show you a way, one of the ways that you can work with this sequence to raise your vibration, tap into the radiant circuits, and get yourself into the habit of feeling happier. So I'm just on the chest there, under the collarbones, and then you come to the side of the body. Now, as we're doing this, and as you're just copying, what I'm doing and here I'm going to about halfway down the legs just on the seam of the leg bring your intention now and today we're just going to focus on feeling happier so bring something to mind that gives you that feeling that lifted feeling that makes your heart sing and without going too much into a story about it notice that feeling notice when you have that thought that expansion in the body, and then bring your focus to that feeling. What does it feel like when you get that, that in-breath, 
that spontaneous smile on your face. And if you're smiling, you've got it. Okay. And if you're not smiling, smile right now and genuinely feel that lift through the body. So there are many ways we can work with these radiant circuits. And the more we explore them and find the things that really work for us, the f first aid exercises, and the more we practice them, then the more we raise our happiness point and it becomes our default setting just to feel more at ease, lighter, easier, expecting more joy out of life. Okay, so now keep tapping, keep breathing deeply and just expand on this feeling so you know what it feels like to feel happy and joyful. And if there's a struggle right now, use your imagination. Use your imagination. What if right now the one thing that you'd love to happen has already happened in your life? What would it feel like? Again, notice the feelings in the body. And it might be that those thoughts jump in of, ah, but it won't, and ah, what's the point? Laugh them off. Right now, there's a time to look at those, but right now, we're building the resilience through these energies of joy that are so powerful. They're boosting your immune system. They're creating that foundation. So when we do come up against challenges, we have more resilience. So there's a, such a benefit now in just... Focus on that expansive feeling. Stay with it. Any doubts drop in, send them on their way. What's you at your best, at your happiest? Breathe that into your system. Notice where your mind is and ask your radiant circuits to come alive. Give them permission. Now, this system has a power to really push through any habits, any beliefs that no longer serve you. Ask them to come awake. Give them permission to expand. your breath going, smile. And on the next out breath, once you've reached the top of the head, just let your, let your hand go. And just take a moment to notice how you feel. And then from here, just open your eyes. Just let your hands come up the midline of your body. And just hold your face and just let the middle fingers just slip behind the ears to that dent. Bring the elbows together and you're just connecting with the, your vagus nerve. And we're just going to do three hums. So on the out breath, just... Gently hum, hum deep into your bones. Just release your hands. 
just let them slide down onto the legs to feel your sitting bones rooted, grounded, knowing that your radiant circuits are alive and buzzing. Smile. And just open your eyes on the out breath. So if you've enjoyed this practice, then please leave us a comment. Let us know how you feel. Please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up, share. And let us know how, how this works for you, what you'd like more of. Thank you for joining us. 